Hey guys, thanks for joining me again. So today I am launching issue four of Dirty Glamour Magazine. I'm super excited. If you've been following me on Instagram, on Facebook, or even here on YouTube, you will see some of the sneak peeks, behind the scenes shooting and makeovers that I've been doing. I take everyday women and just transform them to amazing. And I use makeup, airbrush makeup, wigs, costumes, and then digital imagery. Uh, to transport them to fantastic worlds and they all are you know kind of uh, my muses where I get to create these visions so I got I hope you guys have been enjoying it and if you haven't seen the videos you can see them here on YouTube um, but today is my launch day and today is issue four it's another magical issue I'm super excited about it you can find it on MagCloud um, and you can purchase it there and with every print purchase you get a complimentary digital purchase so you can view it right away it's about 28 pages this issue so it's a little bit bigger than the uh, last few ones that I've done but I hope you guys like it I think it's great and I'm super excited about it and there's tons of pinups and mermaids and witches and all kinds of gorgeous fantasy type scenes uh, to keep you guys inspired to sparkle inside and out and so the whole purpose of my magazine is to showcase my work but not only that it's to tell the stories and transport these women from beautiful to amazing. It's all about building self-confidence, transformation, hella sexy pinups. I mean, it's just fun and it's a fun way for me to showcase what I can do for you in a session. And if you're interested in sessions, I offer pinup boudoir, vintage, and fantasy. And I would have to say the magazine is a really great representation of my pinup and my fantasy. Um, of course, there's that boudoir element in it. But uh, I really focus with this magazine on taking them to these magical worlds. And it's a really over-the-top uh, magazine where you get to just dream. So I'm inviting you to dream with me. And uh, once again, you can find it on MagCloud. I'll put the link below. And I appreciate the support. Um, the proceeds from all of this go to paying for everything that goes into this magazine from the stock images, the wigs, the costume pieces, everything. So it takes a lot to be doing this and I do it all on my own. Uh, it's just kind of worked out that way. I'm always looking for great people to collaborate with, but it is what it is and I'm super happy with it. So uh, in this video, I am going to do some little previews of some of the images and uh, talk a little bit about them. Um, it's not the whole magazine. You're gonna have to buy it to see the whole magazine, but this is just kind of more info on what I do and on Dirty Glamour magazine. So some deliciously refreshing glam and uh, a new take on transformation and maybe um, it'll inspire you to take a chance and do a session or maybe you're already dreaming of doing it and set on it, you can find me at yourjewel.com and that has info on my uh, boudoir and pinup makeovers and my, my photography sessions. Um, you can get all the info there. So if you're interested, uh, please contact me. Uh, more info down below. So uh, once again, uh, stay with this video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe and click that bell for notifications on my latest videos um, and you'll see more stuff coming. I do hair makeup videos, videos on the magazine. I'm starting to show more and more the transformation process from the makeup to the uh, the actual shooting. Um, I'm super excited as well because this issue I used Palsy Buff Lights, so I had new lights. I'm using the Einstein and I do all my digital editing in Photoshop. Um, I started Photoshop when it was like Photoshop 1 and 2 and I think now it's like way up there. So anyway, um, if you're a photographer or digital buff, you'll get it, you'll understand. So there's a little uh, a bit of something for everyone from the um, person who dreams of doing a shoot to the photographer or the digital artist who wants to see the work. So um, once again, join me and uh, let's get started. Thank you. Issue four of Dirty Glamour. I hope you like it so far. This is a pinup girl creation, military pinup that I did um, with this beautiful, lovely, she's just a regular girl who works really hard. And we did, I styled the wig and I added my jewelry that I designed and create as well as she brought in the props. I brought in the uh, military bike digitally and we created this gorgeous retro inspired piece with a modern touch. 
I love doing pinup and this was just one of those kind of dream projects. Um, Miss Parker, as we'll call her, is our pinup model and her helmet she brought in, kind of a little bit of a steampunk influence, but uh, worked really well with the image. And so I shot this on a plain background and then I digitally added in the motorbike and the background and all the highlighting and editing in the skin and hair. The makeup uh, was airbrushed predominantly and then the um, hair I styled the wig um, so that was a lot of fun to create and she loved it and she had a blast and if you meet Miss Parker she's totally different from the girl in this photo just a regular girl works really hard and this was her chance to play uh, you can check out I did a little video on her with the before and after makeover and just a little bit of the shooting and more and more I'm gonna be doing that and showcasing it before I actually launch the magazine as teasers to just get you guys excited. So I hope you like it. And as you can see, this is, I put her in the table of contents and on the cover. And I've got some gorgeous fun stuff. So I have a fairy queen, a boho elf, a wolf and butterfly, uh, blue butterflies, jellyfish glam, Morgana, poker pinup, mermaid, timeless glow, exotic babes, and whiskey pinup. And so basically, um, each one has a different flavor. They're all like sexy, over-the-top fantasy type imagery. Um, and some of them are just articles on girls who wanted to transform that aren't glamorous or who, you know, face challenges uh, from having these opportunities to do stuff like this and be glamorous because they're up working really hard and really early. Or um, in one of my articles I talked about uh, Madame Butterfly and basically um, getting older and what does it mean to be as a woman. But anyway, regardless, there's gorgeous images for you guys to have fun. There's a couple of articles in this one um, touching on the, the people who are in it and I hope you enjoy it. And on to the next one. Here's my gorgeous boho elf jamming in the forest with her unicorn, her owl, and her goat. Um, anyway, I love this image. We once again gave it a modern flair and we wanted kind of a vintage kind of retro fantasy look with the boho health idea. And I just, I threw in the guitar because I wanted it to be fun and playful and something um, that the modern girl could look at and love or the the fantasy enthusiast could love. Um, it's just an image that I feel has a playful look to it. And it's just so in spirit of festival season, which we are now in. And um, just an inspiration for all my festival girls and my boho girls and my elf lovers and my unicorn lovers. So I hope you love this image. This lady here also did the fairy image um, that's in the magazine. And she was a lot of fun to work with and we were able to create some fantastic pieces. In this one, um, once again I shot um, on a background and then digitally enhanced the image, bringing in various different elements and creating this magical piece with a nighttime kind of concert feel. So I hope you love it and I'm going to show you the next one. <laughs> Well, here she is, my cowgirl whiskey gambling pinup. And who doesn't love pinup? So it was so much fun to create this image. Um, I shot this one in a hotel room, and then I basically digitally edited it. And I shoot already with a concept in mind. I don't always know exactly what it's going to be, but I have some key elements. Like we got the toy gun. We She brought in the checkered shirt and the ride em cowboy t-shirt and the, the bikini briefs and the cowboy boots. And she ended up giving me those afterwards. So I have those gorgeous props to use on other people and clients. So if you love this image, we can do one for you. And boys, guys, buy your girl a session so she can be your uh, poker loving gambling whiskey pinup who doesn't want that and so I had so much fun creating this one and pinup is one of my favorite genres it's one of the main things I do and there is more images in here of um, poker playing pinups etc and you're gonna see more and more of this in my work as well as this image in the full um, entirety will be going on a lot of my merchandise uh, t-shirts and posters and prints that you can purchase if you love it and you support the project and you love what I'm doing and you just want a sexy pinup. Um, so yeah, what else can I tell you? If you have questions, definitely comment below. If you're interested in my work, it's yourjewel.com to see more. But this was so much fun to create and the bottle is actually my husband's and I photographed that in the kitchen. And then I photographed this gorgeous pinup uh, in a hotel in Seattle 
and then I added in the other elements and I wanted to keep that white background for a change. A lot of my images are very complex and busy and I really wanted to keep this one kind of pinup looking as well. I'm planning on putting in on lots of merchandise so I hope you guys enjoy t-shirts and things like that and want to see more of that. But yeah, so this was really fun to create. I'm super excited and you'll see more in the magazine that launched today, issue four, Dirty Glamour. So thanks so much for joining me. This was a sneak peek of what I'm creating, what I'm doing. I have a passion for it and I hope you're enjoying this. If there's comments below, questions, um, you can definitely comment below. I always look at all of them. And I'll put the link for MagCloud if you want to purchase the magazine with every print purchase you receive a digital copy and that's a fantastic deal and very shortly in next month we'll have the images up on product so that'll be so fun certain images will make it onto certain products t-shirts and things like that and it just allows you to wear a little bit of the baroness glamour Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, it was a mod podge of a couple different images from the latest issue, and it was so much fun to make. So thank you so much for joining me and staying with me on the video. Be sure to click that bell up above to get my latest videos on all my stuff. And not only that, please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me out, and not only it just keeps my project going and my passion going, and I appreciate all the love and support that the other people have already been giving me. Please join in. Thanks again, and uh, I'm here to keep you sparkling inside and out. So thank you very much. We'll talk to you, talk to you later. Bye-bye.